hello everyone welcome to the target common youtube channel and this will be another video in his session end to end framework playlist so in last video i explained how can we store the data as per environment and we introduce a system variable env and we set the value like if we are not passing this value then what should be the default value so how can we pass this system or this variable env at runtime for that we need to do some changes so suppose as of now we have only one test case right i will create a testng.xml so you can simply right click click on create testng xml click on ok just reload the project again you then only you will see the testing.xml this is only first time if you go and see the testing.xml so it will be in this order so for this you can go to code and you can do the format code so it's very simple testing.xml where i have only one class okay and it will include the method also so let it be i'm not going to cover anything extra in testng now so we have one testing.xml if you run this testing.xml then also it will run the same test case which we are running through the class directly let me run and show you one so we can see it's running the test case and just ignore the failure because we know that what is the reason now I want to read. I want to run this testng.xml through pom.xml. Okay, that is again simple concept. For that, you need to go to pom.xml. So you might be aware that if you want to run the test case through pom, then we need to add a plugin that is called Maven Surefire plugin. So I'll go to Google and I will type Maven Surefire plugin, and I will use the latest one. Go to first link. And here you can see that go to using TSNG, and here let me copy the dependency. So actually plugin. So we need to add the plugin always in build tag, okay? Because these things will be used during the build time, build life cycle. So you need to create the build tag. Inside this you need to create the plugins because we can have multiple plugins. So all the plugins will be inside the plugins tag, okay? You can see the pattern plugins then we have individual plugin so here i use the latest your five plugin and it is asking like which suite file you want to run so as of now i have just one suite file that is hne.xml that is also with the same name okay so here automatically it will uh, look for the tcn.xml in your root okay which is here tcn.xml whatever we create we create inside the root so let it be as of now we'll later distribute this to or we'll try to store this testing.xm in different folder and we can parameterize that one as well so but as of now leave it like this one just simple one setting you need to do to run the testing.xml from pom.xml you need to use this plugin maven c5 plugin now you see this option right click on it click on edit configuration click on this plus sign and you should see maven here maven you can give any name also maybe my maven runner okay and the command we know that uh, if you want to run the test case you can simply type test okay click on apply and okay simply click on this run button let's see what happens so you can see here that it is running my test case you can see in the logs it is giving 400 bad requests okay because we know the reason why it is giving 400 bad requests so let me correct it first and then let me rerun you must be noticing here that we are doing something incorrect pattern here because we are all every time we need to pass the id we should have some utility or some mechanism in which it would auto generate the some random id that will implement let me rerun if you see the logs it will be 200 okay right and ss is passed okay here you can see it is passed but still you see the maven build is failed if you come down it will give you some error like error occurred in starting fourth check output in log so this is actually very old issue from maven co5 plugin and sometime it is working sometime it is not working so for that what you can do there no need to worry for count is generally used to it will be useful in parallel execution okay 
so maybe that concept i can cover later so for that to just remove this error and you should see the past one the past thing right in green thing so for that you need to go here and in the configuration just add for count zero okay okay so as soon as we did the zero for count zero then my test case is passed okay so in this video we learned that how can we run our testing.xml through pom.xml now the question comes how can you pass the environment like this one so for that you need to go to again edit configuration give the space hyphen d hyphen capital d then pass the env and maybe you can pass qa or day whatever you want make sure that you give the white space and hyphen capital d okay and this variable name should be same whatever you are using in your framework okay or test case if a changing is to env1 or environment then you need to change the system variable name as well so this time i am passing okay so so let me pass this time dev so that you can see that how it is reading the file okay and just to show you also what i will do i'm going to print this value just to show you that how can we pass the value from here from the command line let me read in So if you try to search the this uh, print statement here so you can see it is printing dev because dev we are passing from environment variable or command line so this is the way we can run our tcg.xml through pom.xml and also we can pass the environment variable and this is the best way i feel that we can store our data based on environment okay if you so if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you if you want to give any feedback or session you can also give that in comment or you can send out a mail to me if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone